All right, before we start, only 6% of you guys are subscribed, and I get that. Um, but if you guys could sub, like, and um, leave a comment, whether that's feedback or something positive, um, it helps a lot. All right, let's get into it. All right, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be talking about what, in my opinion, is one of the best budget builds in Tarkov. Okay, so this is going to be taking place on the MP7, but before I talk about this, I want to, like, I, I want to give my definition of budget. Because I've, I've had people say, like, this isn't budget, it's expensive. The way I view budget is is the lowest cost for the highest amount of value so you can always like um you th there's always an option to pay less for something but you're also not going to get as good of benefits from it so i try and give like the best builds for like the cheapest price um uh yeah but this one is going to be pretty budget and in, in everyone's terms it's good it's going to be super cheap you can run this for a, i think less than 100k for everything combined which is 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 definitely solid right now all right, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, starting off, there's two MP7s, as I think most of you guys know. There is an MP7A1 and an MP7A2. So what are the differences? Well, the MP7A1 basically has a built-in handguard, and the MP7A2 does not, but it leaves room for a handguard. These both start at the same recoil, so um, yeah. So if you're just if you're just going to run them stock, um, how you buy them from the from the flea market, they're the they're the same recoil as can see right here um 62 and with this one should be 62 as well now these stocks are also folded in so they're going to have less recall but they have the same recall stats overall um so why would you want this one if they had the same well this one leaves the option to put a to put a, a handguard on which then further reduces it so i i always opt for for the the m uh the a2 but the mp7 a1 is in no means a bad weapon um yeah, so it, and if you're looking for a cheaper option, this is only 34k. Just toss a side on there, and you're good to go. But yeah, so right now I'm going to be talking about the MP7A2. Okay, so here it is. And the only thing different from the MP7A1 and A2 right now is that um, this one just has a grip. So if you just dis discard what I'm saying about the grip, everything else should fit the same. Okay, so starting off the stock, you know, I just use use the stock it comes with. You don't have to change that. I leave the rear sight and front sight on because it just helps with with overall performance. And then you come to your site. So I generally only use two sites for this. I'll either use this hollow you're seeing, or I'll use a PK06. It really depends on what I'm what I'm doing that day. But um, I definitely like the PK06. But the um, either of the hollows are good as well. Okay. And then up here we have the suppressor. So take this off. This is how it comes. It it it, it comes with the um, with the flash hider, and that leaves the ability to put a suppressor on there. And I and I do opt to take one. These are about 60k, so this will set you back an extra 60k, which if, if you're just starting out, maybe you can afford, that's fine. These things have super low recoil without the suppressor, and it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, and last up is going to be the grip slot. So I put a shift grip in there. Now, if you're starting out and you don't have Peacekeeper level 4, shift grip is pretty expensive. It's around 100k, I think, right now, and maybe you don't want to toss it on. That's fine. Any of these grips will do most of the time they're not going to reduce your recoil by too much so you see we're starting out with 44 recoil right here if we toss like an rk1 it subtracts two this subtracts three this subtracts one they're not going to be reducing your recoil by a ton so what you couldn't set off for is something that just gives you like purely purely ergonomics something like like the magpul rvg i i i, I used to use these quite often when i was just starting out and i think they are fine grips uh, but yeah, the grip definitely isn't going to change much, but it does give you the option to get a much higher ergo. See, we have, you know, 48, and then we tossed a grip on there, like I use the shift grip. Now we have 57. So it's definitely, it, it, it's definitely a personal preference of whatever you like more. But I, 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 I always opt for it. Okay, and the last thing is the magazine. Um, it really depends on what traders you have unlocked. See, I don't use the 40 rounder because I don't actually have mechanic level four yet. But um, the 30 round should be completely fine. 20 round is a little low, but you can get the 30 round for pretty cheap, so I would recommend that. Okay, so now on to ammo. The ammo on here, they're all generally pretty good, besides the, the Action SX. Um, I don't use this, and it, it, I wouldn't recommend it. It has around 65 damage, but only 18 pen, which means you, you can get pretty good on armor talk, like people using level 1 and level 2. Not much more than that, so I generally don't use this. The other ammos, though, are all fairly good. Subsonic, in, in particular, is very cheap for new players, and it also has a, a damage of 45 and a penetration of 36. Obviously not the highest you can use, but it's it's really solid for the amount it, it costs. Next, which is a little bit better, is the FMJ SX, co costing um, $3 if you have P Peacekeeper high enough, but overall around 3000 
but this does come with 64 damage and 50 pen so it's it, it it's pretty good and last up we have APSX coming in at around three thousand dollars if you don't have a mechanical level four or yeah mechanical level four um but yeah so basically um and this has a, a damage of 35 but a high pen of 53 so the way i see it is this is first I, I would use this then i would use this then i would use this and i really would not recommend using this but if the, if, if it's your only option then definitely use it so those are those are the ammos um i i opt for the fmj6 just because i can get it from peacekeeper cheap but um yeah they're all solid so now i'm going to show you what it looks like in the range okay here in the range i'm going to first start shooting right there without controlling the recoil at all Okay, so as you can see, it definitely gives a kick at the beginning, but then it lowers down and it stops right there. So basically, if you can start shooting at torso length, if, if you're not confident in hitting a head, all the other shots are going to be directly on, onto their head. Okay, now I'm going to shoot at his torso again, uh, controlling the recoil a little bit better this time. Okay, so that was me controlling the recoil a little bit, and as you can see, the bullets didn't really leave where I wanted them to go. I was aiming for the torso, and that's where we were shooting most of the time. Uh, but yeah, like in that, you, you hit someone with all those, they're, they're going to die, especially if you're using some solid ammo. Okay, and I also wanted to show what it looks like without the suppressor, because I know some people can't afford it. So, without controlling the recoil at all. It does give a similar kick, but as you can see, it's not that much, it's, it's not that much crazier. Now, one more time with me controlling the recoil. Without the suppressor, I can confidently control the recoil to, to their neck to chest area. So, um, yeah, the suppressor is not needed. I know it's pricey for a lot of people, so don't feel don't feel like you have to buy it. Um, it's definitely something that helps, but it's not necessary. Okay, but that's pretty much it. This is the MP7. It's, um, it's a solid gun that a lot of people run, but a lot of people don't. And I'm just trying to give you guys another option because you see all the M4A ones and stuff and all the crazy builds. This one, you can pretty much get it for under, under 100k and jump into raid with it. And shouldn't feel too bad if you lose it. But um, yeah, and you can always check out my other money-making money, money -making videos if you need a way to make some cash. So, but yeah, I, I hope that helped. And um, yeah, definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys for watching.